Hey, what's going on guys? Poison Rain here, and welcome to another tutorial. Today it is a tutorial on a straight piston bolt. It goes 20 blocks per second. Uh, it's a design similar to Pretty Gaming's, uh, but I compacted it from a 2x5 space that it takes up down to a 3x3, which is one less, one less block of space, plus when you turn it into a tunnel, it'll make it even less space that it takes up. So, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Just place a minecart there, hop in, make sure not to nudge the minecart, click the lever, and it'll send you on your way. So what you're going to need, um, there are two sections to this. From here, back, and then here, and all the way back. Uh, that is the starting section, and then from here to here, and then uh, let's use these blocks to mark out. So this is the modular part where you'll just keep going over and over and then the part that's going to be covered with iron blocks is the starting part and the reason why I'm lining it off line, or marking it off like this is because I need to I'm going to show a materials list for both sections so this top section is the required the requirement for the uh, the first section, you're going to need 18 uh, solid blocks, or well, actually only two of them need to be solid and the rest can just be building blocks. Uh, you're going to need three redstone repeaters, three filler blocks, and three pistons as well as three rails, with two rails necessary for curving. You'll need eight redstone. And then, of course, the observer and lever for the actual starting mechanism. Then for the modular part, you're going to need 10 solid blocks. Two of them only need to be actually cut, or need 10 blocks that you can place dust and rails on top of. Two blocks need to be solid and conduct redstone. The rest can be any block, as long as it works. Then six redstone dust, two rails, two more for curving, which can just come from up here. Um, two pistons, two filler blocks, and two repeaters. So let's get into how to build this. I already have this section here for the start. So you'll need redstone dust on this middle block, a block up, place it observer here, lever on top, and these you will not need. Then you'll need three redstone dust, don't need that block, and then two repeaters here. This one actually needs to be drawn out to here, it's a repeater here, set to three ticks. Then you're going to need a solid block and then you're going to need your filler block, or no, sorry. You need two solid, or two blocks here. This one needs to be the solid block. You don't need that anymore. And then you're just gonna start your rail curvings, which basically be L shapes. You'll alternate which side you go to, like so. And then you'll start your rail curving, which will go like this. Break, break, break. One, two, three. Break, break, break. Two, three. Break, break, break. And so on till you reach the end. Anyways, next you're going to 
want to finish work on this first section here. You don't want to put a piston here, piston here, two redstone dust like this, then another repeater set to three ticks, then another piston here, and that is all that you'll need. You can break out these blocks here, uh, or well, you guys wouldn't have needed them in the first place, but yeah. You actually don't need any of these middle ones except for the first bit here. I don't know why I kept the middle row, so I'm going to go through, break those out, and then cut back to when I continue with the tutorial. Another thing you can cut out as well is any of the blocks underneath this here. These would have been filler blocks, so that is why you needed those. So now that the thing is set up, we've got our rails curved. Now it's time to finish the redstone. Next, you're going to want to do two dust like this, one repeater, set it to two ticks two dust, one repeater, two ticks, two dust, repeater, two ticks, all the way down the line. And this here, you don't need anything. And your minecart should end up here when you're done. And all that's left to be added is the pistons which will go on this last solid block here, which is why you needed two of them to be solid, because you need one for this side and this side. The rest can be top slabs, glass, whatever you want it to be. And that is your straight piston bolt complete. Now let me make sure I didn't mess up the timings by doing this. I did not. But I did forget a piston. So, now that it's done, you'll reach all the way to the end, and sit here. And just to show that this does still work with player inside, it does that. I have tested this on the Advanced Automation Realm creative server. And it does work there. Um, just do know, since it does use redstone dust here, uh, the observer here will fire upon reloading. Um, but redstone dust is the cheapest. You can replace this with a hopper instead. And it will not fire when you reload. So, yeah. That is if you don't want it firing when you don't want it to, but I mean, it just goes down the line anyways. It doesn't damage anything. Uh, as long as you don't have any blocks directly in front of the piston, uh, which you shouldn't otherwise. Let me show you what will happen. If I put like a solid block here. I didn't put in the minecart. <laughs> it stops. So yeah, that is it for this tutorial. So if you have any questions, any problems, uh, do join the Discord. It is linked in the description. Uh, and I have a specific channel there, a text channel for you to ask me questions about the projects in my videos. So. That is there if you need that. Uh, so yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, hit the like button. Duh. If you're new to the channel um, and you like sticky stone, uh, redstone farms, only one example of that on this world. A little honey farm over there. 
uh, then uh, hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up with it hit the notification bell and uh, we just hit 400 subscribers I'd like to thank you for that um, and everyone who has subscribed and I do have something very special planned for 500 as long as we don't reach it too quickly uh, but yeah I'll see you guys in the next video and I hope you have a nice day.